Who are you? Uh, so, my name is Chris Blizzard. Um, I am the lead for One Laptop Per Child inside of Red Hat. Uh, and we're here inside of uh, One Cambridge Center, which is located right in the middle of Kendall Square in uh, Cambridge, Massachusetts. Well, really, this is uh, sort of the heart of One Laptop Per Child. This is where uh, everybody comes together to meet. It's where we have our country meetings. Uh, it's where a lot of the software developers work and practically live. Uh, it's really the, the, the heartbeat of the organization, I think. The goal of One Laptop Per Child is to use a laptop as a vehicle to transform education in the developing world. The vehicle is a $100 laptop because if you can get the price down to $100, all of a sudden you hit the textbook budget of your average developing world country. Uh, people said we couldn't do it. and. In record time, we got these. We didn't just get prototypes out the door. We got these things and machines and actually working. My name is John Palmieri. Uh, people know me as J5 at Red Hat. Uh, I work on the OLPC team, and I am the build master. You know, it's fun. I haven't seen anybody who doesn't gravitate towards this machine. It takes a little bit of the pain out of travel because you always have such a fun time going through security lines at the airport, taking out your laptops, and you take out a half a dozen of these little green machines that people are saying, that's a hundred dollar laptop. I mean, they, they pretty much recognize it now. My name's still Walter Bender. <laughs> <laughs> and I work at One Laptop Per Child. I guess my official title is President of Software and Content. Um, whatever that means. <laughs> Can we transplant the culture of open source software development, which is all about collaboration, critique, about and, and the tools of collaboration and critique as well, and get the education industry to adopt them? The design of the laptops is a really interesting project because while it is geared towards a lot of individuals who haven't had experience working with computers, it's also designed in such a way that trying to do a lot of new things that haven't really been done before. Hi, I'm Eben Eliasson. I graduated from Carnegie Mellon University with degrees in art and computer science. I began in New York working with the Pentagram design team where I worked on UI design and some interaction design for the laptops. So I'm trying to persuade my other half that they're like shoes and I should be allowed as many computers in the house as she has pairs of shoes. But I, it's a tough sell. I'm Dave Woodhouse. I work for Red Hat on the RPC project. Um, was transferred on the project a year and a half, two years ago, I think. I spend a lot of time working directly with the, the hardware guys and making sure everything works. Um, making sure that the physical things work, the screen and the, the keyboard and the you know, battery charging and everything like that. I remember one large computer manufacturer early on looked at my design. We said, um, this requires 20 or 30 miracles, and our rule here is one miracle per product, and uh, good luck. <laughs> but we think you need to be more realistic. I'm Mary Lou Jepson. I've been working at One Laptop Per Child for two years, and a little longer, and I am the chief technology officer. They're absolutely right, one miracle per product. What's different is this isn't a product. It's not a product at all. It's a global humanitarian cause. And we're just able to mobilize people in a different way. One laptop sort of represents a blank slate. You've got millions of users who don't have any backwards compatibility needs. They don't have any pre-existing notions of how computers are supposed to work, and so you can start new. My name is Owen Williams. Um, I'm a volunteer for the OLPC project. I work on uh, Penguin TV, which is a news feed reader, and I also do some work on the user interface in general. I like to imagine poor children using it and having a tool to get out of, to have more opportunities that they don't often have. And so it's a great, it's a wonderful thing to, to imagine, and I hope that it comes to truth. Hi, my name is Marcelo. Tosachi and I work for, I live in Brazil and I work for Red Hat. Um, I have been working in the project for six, seven months and I am developing the driver for the wireless interface and working on the mesh networking. 
you know, normally the concept of giving kids computers is sort of you set up a computer lab with a bunch of Windows machines and sort of leave it at that. Um, you know, there's just so many really interesting problems, things like not having reliable sources of electricity or not having reliable internet infrastructure and you know, at the, at the end of the day, it means that millions and millions of kids are going to get access to um, knowledge and tools that they never could have had before.